the first thing that we're going to look at in our video lesson is the finger numbers. And the thumbs of both hands are called finger number one. The pointer fingers are finger number two. In both hands, the middle fingers are finger number three. The ring fingers are finger number four, and the pinkies are finger number five. So just to go through that one more time, thumbs are finger number one. Finger number two are the index fingers. The middle fingers are finger three. Finger four are the ring fingers. And the pinkies are finger number fives. So now let's find middle C. And to do this, look at your keyboard or your piano and find roughly the middle of the piano keyboard. Then look for the two black keys that are roughly in the middle of the piano and directly to the left of those two keys is the note C. And it should sound like that. Once again, find roughly the middle of the keyboard and find the two black keys together. Then go to the left of those two black keys and you'll find C. Now for basic piano technique, we want to have a curved hand. So pretend that you're holding a piece of fruit or a ball and then turn your hand over. And the shape should look roughly like this. You'll want to have curved fingers here. And also you don't want to bend against the knuckle. So Try to maintain some curvature in your hands and your fingers and avoid bending backwards like that. There are a few reasons for this. The first one is that you'll slip off the keys. Another reason is that over time it will cause some slight injuries to your hand. And then third reason is that it will be difficult to play quickly if you have your thumbs very wobbly like that, rather not the thumbs, the index fingers, or your other finger knuckles like that wobbly. So you want to keep them uh, curved. It doesn't have to be a severe curve. It can be a slight curve, but you don't want to bend them backwards. Now let's find middle C at the piano and try a simple exercise. We're just going to play C with the thumb, D with the first finger, E with Sorry, let's try that again. Let's try a simple exercise on the piano keyboard. We're going to play first finger with the thumb, C. Then lift your thumb up, index finger, second finger on D. Third finger, E on, on the E. Fourth finger, ring finger on the F. And fifth finger, pinky on the G. So we'll play that up ascending and then down descending and it will sound something like this. Now with the left hand thumb find middle C and then go two keys below middle C in other words so that you have two keys between your thumbs and you should be on the note G with your left hand thumb right here. And this is called C position. Now with your left hand, we're going to try a similar exercise starting on the pinky. We're going to play fifth finger on C, fourth finger, ring finger on D, third finger on E, second finger on F, and thumb on G. And we'll play that going up and then going down. So it will sound like this. And you should try playing that five to ten times in a row. So it would sound something like this. Now, the next exercise we're going to try 
is very similar. We're going to be in C position, so that's thumb on middle C and of the right hand and left hand thumb two keys below on G, C and G. Now we're going to try what's called parallel motion, where we play in the same direction with both hands going first going up and then going down. So we're going to play the C's with the left hand pinky and the right hand thumb, then the D's with the ring finger of the left hand and the second finger of the right hand, then we'll play E's with third fingers in both hands, then the F, left hand, second finger, right hand, fourth finger, and then finally the G's, thumb in the left hand, pinky in the right. And we'll go up, ascending, and then down, descending together. So it would sound like this, C, D, E, F, G. And then let's try going up, and then down. Now you can try this exercise in different places on the keyboard just by shifting up one or two keys and it will change the sound and create some interest for you. So here's taking the pattern and sliding it up from C with the lowest notes to D. That sounds like this now. Now for fun, maybe slide it all the way up so that you're on G with both hands in your lowest note. It would sound like this. Mm -hmm. 